Hey everybody, welcome back to Better Computer. My name is Matt, and I was on Product Hunt this morning just looking around at what was new, and I came across this, Profile Hunt, uh, which is a tool that helps you when you're searching for a job. And so it basically creates a Kanban board for you, uh, lets you save some information on each uh, job that you're applying for. Um, and then, yeah, that's really it. It looks like it's going to be helpful for people. I'm not going to look at this today. I'm actually going to do a thing that happens to me quite often, <laughs> which is I see some sort of new tool and I'm like, oh, I could just make that a notion. And so there's definitely value in a purpose-built thing like this that's going to be tailor-made to exactly what you need. But as a Notion user, I immediately know how I'm going to do this and how I'm going to set it up. And so I wanted to walk through how I would do this in Notion today in real time so you can kind of get an idea for how this sort of thing crops up for me um, and maybe it's useful to you. So I'm just going to go over to Notion real quick uh, and I'm going to create a new private page. Uh, and this is going to be called Job Search, right? Um, and then I want to create this as a board. Okay, and then they always put these three sample cards, which I don't need. Um, and then I don't need this status, I don't need this status, and I don't need this status. So I'm just totally fresh. There's no status on any of these. So let me shoot on over to here again. So it looks like there are five statuses here to apply, applied, action required. Um, so I'm gonna add a group to apply. Uh, forgot already applied action required waiting for response and offer cool okay and so now already I see that I probably want to change the colors on these so for offer that's the final state so let's make that green um, waiting for response, I'll say is blue. Action required is yellow, that makes sense. Um, applied is, uh, let's make that orange. And then to apply, let me actually make that just gray. Uh, that's not a good or bad status. And I'll put no status as kind of like my inbox. And actually, now that I think about it, uh, one more status I probably want is um, declined. I don't know if that's the right word, but I uh, will make that red. So these are for jobs that ultimately don't follow, don't come through. So here we go. So I've got my column set up already. And so now uh, they've got all of these uh, jobs here already on the board uh, to see what I actually want to put on here. Uh, let me actually go down to here and I can see kind of an example of what they've got. And so I'm going to, uh, let's see, so they've got a number of them. Um, but let me just start with a new one. And we're going to call this uh, job A. Oh boy, jeez, <laughs> there we go. And I'm gonna click into it to see the details. So uh, you can see, obviously I've got my statuses here uh, that I can put them into. Um, I'll just go ahead and put it to apply right away. And then we can add properties. Um, so we're gonna do job title, and this will be text. Cool, that makes sense. I will add another one uh, called salary. And this one will be a, well, let's leave it as text. We could make it a number, um, but maybe there's a range or something. Um, we could do that. Uh, there's salary. What else do we have? Um, we have, oh, company, duh. <laughs> Let me shoot over here. Uh, the company, the deadline, and this one is actually going to be a date, right? If there's a deadline, I want there to be a date on it. Uh, let's see, link, location, okay. Uh, let's see link and we'll make this a url right there and location and i think text is probably still the one i want for this yeah yeah um there we go and i'm actually going to add another one um full remote and this will be a checkbox so is it a full remote position so there we go uh, so there's my information about it i've got this whole uh, notes section down here where i can uh, write things up about it uh, but yeah, let's see. Um, so let me move the company up. That's more important to me. Uh, so it's going to be uh, Acme Inc. The job title. Oops. Keep typoing on screen, of course. <laughs> As a product manager. And I've got my caps lock on. There we go. Uh, salary, we'll say um, 40 to 60K. 
I don't know, just guessing. Uh, and then the deadline for this application will say end of the month is when I need to put it in. And then I'll put a link. Acme.com uh, slash jobs, right? That's probably the more accurate one. Um, we'll call this one Chicago, Illinois, and they do offer full remote. Cool. Uh, so we'll do uh, this one. We'll do an Acme product manager. So that's the job, and now you can see it on the board, and I can kind of move it along as I apply. Now, one of the things you may have noticed on their board is that they have uh, actually, they don't have much more there at all. <laughs> they have open, trash, and then some move options, which I assume are moving to different categories. Um, we get that for free with Notion. You click into it to see the details, and you can just drag it to two different sections. One of the things that's really cool about Notion, though, is that I can customize this view. Right? So I can go to Properties here, and then I can go ahead and preview uh, either the page cover if I have an image or the page content um, if I have something written in the body of the page. So if I go back in here, so if I have things written here, I can put that as a preview. Um, what I actually want to do oops, is I want to see a few of these things. So let me do company. Uh, so it shows the company value there. Uh, the deadline, so I can see the deadline when it's due. Uh, let's see, do I want to do full remote? I don't really care about that until I click in. Job title, that's fine. Links, I actually like having these on the top level. I'll show you why in a second. And then uh, I will throw the salary on there too, right? And then I can actually rearrange these. So maybe I want the link at the bottom. So let me pull the link down and you can see the links at the bottom. So this is fully customizable at this point. Um, yeah, and so what's nice is that I can actually just click the link from here. It takes me to my web browser and obviously <laughs> uh, this is not found on acme.com. Uh, but I can just click to the application from there. Oh, you know what else I should add here? I should add my, uh, uh, let's see, my uh, Google Doc for the um, application. So I'm going to save it as a Google Doc, and this is going to be, uh, let's see, a URL as well. Um, and alternatively, I could do, um, uh, if I have a different resume for each one, I can do files and media and upload the resume as a PDF or Word Doc or whatever I'm submitting. Uh, so there we go. So then this could be a link to that. I actually probably don't need that, so let me click into it. Delete, delete. So I'm going to be doing PDFs for everything. So that'll just be something I upload here. So I'll have a backup of it. So yeah, so that's how I would do it um, once I'm applied. There we go. Easy. So now it's applied. I know I need. I don't need to do anything with it. When I get an email, I can move it to action required. Uh, when I'm waiting for them to respond, leave it there. And then either I get an offer from them or I don't. And so I could fill up the board with a bunch of these, right? Um, so now that I've applied there, uh, let's say I've got um, PO role. I've got designer role, there we go. And then, sure, I'm applying for CEO, <laughs> right? And so uh, as I kind of like save links for these, all of these would have URLs. Uh, this one will be at Apple, you know, go big. Uh, and then so basically when I'm collecting information on it, I could uh, make sure I've got Apple, uh, job title is product owner, uh, salary, we'll do 40 to 60K again. Through OK. There we go. The deadline for this, um, let's say it's this Friday, and I actually want to remind myself on the day of the event. So at 9 a.m., remind me to apply if I haven't done it already. So that's a cool thing. Um, again, the link is here, the location, uh, Cupertino, California, full remote. <laughs> Uh, probably not, uh, but yeah, so there we go. And then I can move this to my to apply section and then it kind of moves along as well. So again, once these have reminders on them, I'll throw a reminder on this one real quick. Uh, so let's remind me about this one. How about a week before, just to make sure I don't forget about it. There we go. So. There we go. So that's basically how I would get set up. I could do more with this. I could add pictures to it, right? I can add an icon. Uh, let's see, it's gonna guess one, um, but I can do work and uh, sure, I'll uh, put an office worker with a mustache there. Cool, and so it just looks a little nicer in the sidebar and everything. But yeah, this is what you can do in Notion. It just took a few minutes to set this up and uh, for me, it will work, work really great. Um, if this uh, profile hunt looks good to you, um, I'll leave a link to it in the description as well. Uh, you can check it out, but yeah, I think this is a sort of cool tool that is available. I'm glad people can make this sort of thing. And I'm also really happy that people who already are using Notion can build these different interfaces for 
very specific things that they're working on. Um, I think it's really, really cool. And one of the reasons that I like Notion for this exact sort of thing. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.